the people next to me are blasting Mason Ramsey. It is so funny. Um, <laughs> today I don't feel like putting on makeup. I just derma planned my face. That's why it's all red. But I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my makeup collection. What I have here um, at school. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so this is my setup. I have face, eyes, and then like palettes here. I have some backups of some stuff right there. And then I have my lips and my brushes, nail polish, all that stuff. So yeah, let's start with the face. So I moved you guys onto my iPad. I hope you can see, but I thought we'd just start with primers. Um, I'm currently in the process of trying to go more green, so I'm trying to use up a bunch of stuff and kind of just really have a condensed collection. I recently took inventory of all my makeup when I was back home, and I'm trying to use up all the stuff that I have here and use up stuff that I wouldn't normally use at home. These are the primers that I have. The first one I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, I really like this. Um, it's very nice and refreshing. It has a very fine mist, and I really like this for just when it, my face needs a little bit more hydration. Then I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is a really nice gripping primer. It's very thick. Like, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Um, it's very thick, almost like a glue consistency and when you kind of press it onto your skin it gets really tacky and it's really great for holding your makeup every day. Um, then I have the NYX Plump It Right Back um, primer. This has electrolytes in it. I've been using this quite a bit because um, my skin's just been kind of dry and dull and I really like this to revive my skin. Same with this one. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow. Primer. This is a really nice primer. It has vitamin B, C, and E. It smells like orange creamsicle, and it's a really great hydrating primer. That's what I really like. I like hydrating primers because I tend to wear a lot of powder and more matte foundations, so I like to have something to kind of give my skin some glow to it. And then this is just a little sample of a, I guess it's technically a moisturizer, but I use it still good. <laughs> I use it when my skin just needs a little bit extra oomph to it. This is the Primera Hy Hy <laughs> Alpine Berry Hydrate and Glow Water Cream. This was just like a little Sephora 100 perk thing and I'm trying to use it up. Don't mind my nails by the way. I have to paint them after this. Um, so next up is my foundations and my BB creams and things like that. Um, so I have the Physicians Formula Healthy Skin Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I just love the glow that it gives. It's just a little too dark for me right now, so I haven't really been using it. I tend to wear more like BB creams and tinted moisturizers while I'm at school because I'm wearing a mask. And a full coverage foundation would just be a little bit too much for me wearing a mask every day with school. Um, so then up next I have the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I really like this. I'm almost out of it. It's just not my shade right now because um, it's winter time and this is a little dark. This is in the shade True Beige Buff and I'm in the shade MC1 for the Healthy Skin Foundation. Um, I really like this. I'm almost out of it. So once it's once I'm back to being this, this tan, I will use this up and yeah. Um, and then next up, I have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Again, not my shade. This is definitely my summer shade. Um, I really like this. It's just, I really have to set my face because I do have dry skin, but once I put makeup on, it does get pretty oily over time. But this is a really good one for dry skin and it's super lightweight. Um, I would say like light to medium coverage. It does say medium coverage, but this is just a really great um, foundation for dry skin. Then I have the um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I like this. This is definitely a light coverage foundation or the tinted product. This is I'm in the shade Fair 4N. Really like this on days when I 
don't want full coverage. I just want my skin to look kind of evened out. Um, and it's really nice and light and it stays pretty long. Then I have the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is the only like full coverage foundation I have in my collection here. I really like this. Um, I've been using it for the past few weeks. I really like it on days when I just want full coverage, my skin not peeking through, and it lasts really well, and it sits on my skin very nicely. And then I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is an oldie but a goodie. I really like this because it does have SPF in it, and the only other one that I have that has SPF is the Healthy Foundation, and this one has SPF 20 and this one has SPF 50. Um, I really like this. It's very lightweight, but still pretty full coverage. Um, I can really build it up, and it just it has like anti-aging properties. It has that sunscreen. I just really like this for every day. Concealer is not something that I have a lot of. I just, you know, I don't think I need 30 different concealers. Um, so I'll start with this. I have the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I use this every day just to put it in my, the darkness under my eyes, just to brighten it up. It's so beautiful, so emollient, and I really, really love this. Um, and then I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. This is probably one of my favorite concealers when I want more full coverage under my eyes. Um, it's very nice, very full coverage. It doesn't crease. I absolutely love this. I don't have much to say about concealers because concealer is concealer in my opinion. Um, and then I have two of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealers. I have one in light 33c and light 45w this is when i'm a little bit more tan like when i wear um the urban decay foundation i really like this for everyday wear because it is so it's, it has great coverage for every day it's not like intense or anything and it just it's very hydrating on the skin it's very hydrating under your eyes because it is so creamy and it has that hyaluronic acid in it it's just really nice for every day it just makes your under eyes look bright and awake. I'm gonna quickly do bronzer because I only have one like standalone bronzer and that is the Milk Makeup um, Baked Cream Bronzer in, oh, in the shade Baked, duh. Um, this is my favorite cream bronzer of all time. I absolutely, absolutely adore this. Um, I think it just looks so beautiful on the skin. So I have that and then I'm gonna quickly do my blushes. Um, I have the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is my favorite blush of all time. It's so, so gorgeous. Just like this is the type of blush that you could pile on and it still would look stunning on your skin. Um, I have two of the Clinique Cheek Pops. These are not cruelty free, so I'm trying to kind of use them up as best as I can. I have in the shade Fig Pop, which is my favorite. It's just like a gorgeous, warm, kind of rosy color and then I have berry pop which is more of a bright berry color so that I have the milk makeup lip and cheek stick in the shade work gorgeous gorgeous cream blush absolutely love that if once I finish this travel size I'm definitely gonna pick up the full size because it's so beautiful I have the rare beauty um, liquid blush in the shade joy these are this is absolutely gorgeous. It's just so intense that I don't wear it every day, but when I do wear it, I love the way it looks on my skin. I love this color. It's unlike any other color I have in my collection. And then I have the ColourPop blush in the shade Fashion District. This was from their Off Melrose collection. It is just this beautiful, dusty peach color. It looks so stunning on the skin. And I always forget how pigmented ColourPop blushes are, but they are truly, truly some of the best. I zoomed you guys out because I realized you couldn't really see much. I also forgot a concealer. This is the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is just one of those, like, I don't use this very much, but I do like it. It's very nice on days where I just want a brighter under eye. Okay, so hopefully you guys will be able to see a little bit better. I'm, I didn't realize that it was a different 
lens that I was showing you. So really quickly, my standalone highlighters and my like setting products. Um, I have the Becca uh, Press Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I bought this right before Becca went out of business. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. I love it. Um, and then I also have the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. This is one of my favorites when I want that golden glow. As you can see, this is very well loved. Um, and then really quickly for like setting products, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is almost empty. And when I use that up, I have the Milani Make It Last. So I'm excited to try that. What else do I have? Oh, I have, I also in my little like backup section, I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade white, just to mix. I don't usually mix, but I bought it just in case I want to. Um, so I have that as well. And then for powder, I just have the Makeup Revolution Bacon Blot. This is one of my favorites and I hear nobody talking about it. It is amazing. Um, it sets my face all day, my makeup lasts. I absolutely love this. Okay, for eye primers, I don't have a lot because I don't see a point. I have the NYX Glitter Primer. I use this actually on my face sometimes when it's really hot down here and I really want um, my makeup to last all day because it gets tacky. And so I use it when I'm doing more glittery looks and I want my glitter to last all day and not crease. This is great. And then my everyday um, eye primer, this is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, not cruelty free, but I think I can use that up before it goes. I've already made quite the dent in it. So yeah, those are my like eye primers, eye bases. Um, and then I'm just going to move quickly over to the liners because I do have quite a bit. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black. This is what I use when I do winged liner and bolder eyeliner. I use this one and I really like it. I also have the ColourPop. I think these are the BFF liquid liners. This is in the shade Grande. It's, I haven't used this in a hot minute. Um, it's a brown eyeliner. It's so beautiful when you want to do a wing look, but you don't want the intensity of black. It just looks great with pretty much any eye color, I think. And it just looks very natural, but still very put together. Then for my pencil liners, we'll see a theme. First off, I have the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in the shade Black. It's just a basic black retractable pencil. Love it in my waterline. It lasts all day. It's really excellent, excellent, and it's only like three bucks. Then I have all of these bad boys. These are the ColourPop Cream, cream Gel Liners. I have the shade teaspoon which if you saw my video where I did a green eye look I used this just a gorgeous like fern color foresty green color I have this one in the shade Castello this was from their Lemoncello collection it is broken I think and this is a really pretty gold I don't yeah this is busted um, I don't wear it very much, just because it is, it's an intense, intense gold, but that would be so pretty on the lid. I'm going to try that. Um, and then I have, also from the Lemoncello, this is the shade Palazzo. This is my favorite. I love this blue eyeliner. Um, I kind of, when I want like a pop of color, I don't want super intense, I'll kind of go back and forth between these two just because they'll really bring out the blue in my eyes. And it's like, oh, she's wearing blue liner. That's pretty crazy. And then this one, I'm not sure what collection this is from, but this is in the shade Plum Smash. And it's more, it's a metallic. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, goodness. So I'm just gonna... Crazy. It's a really pretty intense kind of jewel, like these are jewel tones. I like jewel tones on my eyes, but it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, and it's, but it's not so intense like the gold, so I really like that. Next is mascaras. I have quite a few. Up first I have the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. 
I like this. I'm not a big fan of lash primers, but I tried it out on a whim. It is white. It's supposed to smell like fruit, and it doesn't. It smells like mascara. <laughs> it's nothing special to write home about, I don't think. Um, then I have my everyday mascara. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big. I love this mascara. I've gone through, I think, three tubes of this and a mini. It's just, it gives you such beautiful, voluptuous, full lashes. It's so pretty. And then I have two of the BFF Volumizing Mascaras. I have one Smart Cookie, which is a brown shade. Oh, wow, is that expired? Look at that. I have not used this in a hot minute, but like that's dried up. That is thick. Um, <laughs> I used to have the ColourPop BFF in the um, shade One Smart Cookie. It's a really pretty brown shade for when I want more natural lashes. And then I have this one in the shade Blue Your Mind, and it is a blue. See, that's so funny because I've had the blue way longer than the brown. Hmm. These are really nice mascaras. I haven't tried the black one, but I really like these colorful ones, and I know that they have a bunch of other colors as well. And then I have a sample of the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Maybelline is not cruelty free, so I am just trying to use up this sample before it goes into a landfill because I'm trying to clean out my collection, and it doesn't make sense to me to throw things out really if they still have product in them and they're still good, so I'm just trying to use this up and then not repurchase it. Then I have the Essence Lash Princess um, in the green tube. They have like three or four types of these. I don't like this mascara. I have tried it at least three times. Like I've bought it three separate times and not liked it and then bought it again. And I don't know why I do that because I don't like it every time I use it. And I keep trying to love it because everybody loves this, but I don't. It flakes on me. It gives me such clumpy lashes. I really, really don't enjoy this, but I'm gonna try and use it up. <laughs> then I have a backup of my, this is like one of my all-time favorites. This is the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara from Kate Cosmetics. I love this. I'm waiting until I use up two of my, two of these mascaras to open this one up because I don't want, mascara goes bad so quickly and you're putting that near your eye, so I don't want to have too many open and then they all expire at the same time. So I just have a backup chilling in my collection. And really quickly, I'm gonna do brows and the two single shadows that I have. So the first one is this Kiko by Milano. Um, Long lasting wet and dry eyeshadow. And this is in the shade number 208. I bought this when I was in London. I absolutely love it. It is just gorgeous and intense and beautiful on the eyes. I also sometimes use this as a highlighter, like just, oh, like when I'm tan, this is a stunning highlighter. Um, absolutely love this. And then I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ripple. I adore this. I'm pretty sure it's dried out though. Like it's not bouncy like ColourPop shadows are supposed to be. It's this gorgeous purple, but it has like a shift of blue in it. And I think I might repurchase this eventually at some point because it's just stunning on the eyes. I hope you can see that shift on both of them. Absolutely cool. Multiple brow products open at once. I just, I don't really vibe with that. Um, so for my brow pencil, I use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil. Really good. Three or five dollars. Really nice brow pencil. It's nice and creamy. But yeah, I just, I like it. And then for brow gel, I have the Essence Make Me Brow three bucks, so nice, comparable to the like Benefit Give Me brow, things like that. It's just got a nice tiny little spoolie and it just grabs all of my brow hairs. And then I have this, this is the ColourPop Clear Feather Effect Styling Wax. I've been using this for a hot minute and I really like it. It keeps my brow hairs in place, locked in. Um, I just, like it's just like a solid wax. But I think this is a really cool concept because I did try soap brows for a while and I really liked the way that those looked. Really quickly, I just want to talk about my face palettes. I have my Z palette here. This has stuff that I've depotted 
and put into a little palette so I can travel with it. And um, these were products that like I wanted to try and use up to the best of my ability. I have the Benefit Hula bronzer right here. I've hit pan on that. It's beautiful because Hula is not cruelty free. I also have Hula um, California in the mini size right there. It's cracked. It's a really pretty blush though. I, I went crazy with this when I first bought it and then I haven't really touched it again but it's so pretty. These are the kind of blushes that I go for. Very peachy, very brightening blushes. Um, I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this one. It's just really gorgeous. Everyday bronzer. Just gives your skin a little bit of a glow, whereas the Benefit one is a little bit more intense, a little bit more warm, and it's matte too. Um, then I have the Tarte blush. I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not going to be able to get that, but I have a Tarte blush here. I don't remember the name. Um, this is an Urban Decay blush. Uh, what is this blush? This is a long time. This is an old one. Oh, I'm mistaken. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. This is from their blush palettes a few years ago. It's in the shade Terrace. Um, it's a really p pretty, kind of muted mauve color, and I don't really usually go for these colors anymore. I did a long time ago, um, but it's still a really pretty blush, and I do use it on occasion. Um, this is a cargo blush in the shade Los Cabos. This is one of their like waterproof blushes. So pretty. Just like a golden peach shade. I absolutely adore that. It's just got a beautiful gold shift to it. Um, and then I have the Bombs Mary Luminizer in a little mini. I made a pretty good dent on this. It's just a beautiful white, white gold kind of champagne-y tone with a hint of warmth. It's so pretty. Um, so these are blushes that like I kind of wanted to try and use up a little bit more. And that's why I brought them down here with me. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in the Universe shade, I guess. <laughs> I got this for Christmas and I have been going hard <laughs> with it. So you have the setting powder, a highlighter blush, or a bronzer, and two blushes. Really pretty palette for like everyday, very natural kind of glam. And then I have this dinosaur. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette. Do you guys remember this? Oh, I just dug my finger into that. Um, gorgeous. So we have um, Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop, and then we have these three blushes. There's Rose, Rose Spritz, Amaretto, and Pomplamoose. Just really pretty blushes, but I don't support Jaclyn Hill anymore, so I'm just kind of trying to use it up. Um, and I also don't really go for that intense highlighter, blunt, like I just, not really my style anymore, but I spent so much money on this and it is a collector's item. It is falling apart, like the glue is coming off. I have traveled with this. I do really love it, but I just don't support Jaclyn anymore, but it's a great palette. <laughs> okay, on to the eyeshadow palettes. This is where I have quite a few. So first I brought with me the NYX Ultimate Utopia eyeshadow palette. I love this. I love these like warmer tones here and then you also have some bolder colors here but like this shade and that shade. Um, I also really love this green and I've worn this blue a few times. This is just a really great universal palette and I really love it. I have a dirty um, Colourpop Sweet Talk palette gorgeous. I don't really own anything else like this in my collection, this very warm kind of peachy florally collection of eyeshadows. So I do like to keep this with me because this shade is gorgeous. I love this color as like an eyeshadow topper because it's very glittery, but it's so pretty. Um, so when I'm feeling more, I usually go for more neutral chocolatey tones, but when I'm feeling more warm, um, like browns and pinks, I reach for this palette. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Honey. This is my favorite Urban Decay Naked palette. So gorgeous. Like, these are my tones. These are the tones that I go for. 
um, pretty much on a daily basis. I absolutely adore this palette. And I bought it because Lizzo was in the campaign. Um, ColourPop Going Coconuts, one of my favorites. Definitely, definitely well loved. Um, this is a gorgeous neutral everyday eyeshadow palette. Um, just stunning. And these are like the tones that I'll go for. Like this rose gold right here. These two, like we have a warmer brown and a cooler toned brown. And then this is an eyeliner. Just absolutely stunning. And it has a nice mirror. It has a big mirror, so it's good for traveling. This is the Pro Fusion Spectrum palette. I got this at Walmart because I needed some colors. And these are actually very, very pigmented. Um, I was a little shocked. But like, that is intense. And it's so gorgeous. And sometimes you just want a colorful eyeshadow look. And this was like, oh, I want to say at least only $7. So it's perfect for if you're on a budget. Um, and then I have my favorite eyeshadow palette ever, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I did a look with this. Um, I'll put it in the cards. Just, I've had this palette for years and I just love it. <laughs> this is like my go-to palette. I should probably get a new one eventually. I want to hit pan on a few. I don't understand how I haven't hit pan on some of these eyeshadows because I've had this palette for so long. <laughs> Then the newest palette to my collection is the Morphe Vonnie Gregg for the Bebs, Babes palette. Um, just some beautiful bright, bright colors. I did a look using the seaweed color and then I used a few, I've used a few other shades for a few different projects for school. I tried to use this on, it didn't work for me on, I was doing it on paper. Um, but I'm excited to try out these Hydra liners and I think this is a great palette if you're looking for something colorful. And something different. Then <laughs> the old, old first release of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I have traveled with this far and wide. I absolutely adore this palette. This is the palette I bring every vacation, every trip, because it has so many different tones. Uh, and if I want to do like a blue, I'd love this blue. This purple's nice. It's got a lot of neutral tones, but you can add some shimmers. It's just a great palette. But like I said, I don't support Miss Jacqueline anymore. On to the lips. I am planning on doing a pretty big declutter when I come back, when I go back home at the end of the year. Um, but I don't want to do it now. I just kind of want to do it all in one when I have all of, all of my makeup in my sight. Um, so let's start. The only lip liner I own is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bare to Cut. Bear to comment or bear to commit? Bear to comment. Um, it's almost done. I could probably use that up. I just don't use lip liners. I don't really see a point, personally, but this was a really good one. Um, I have a few Kiko lipsticks here. I have this. They don't have like the names of what they're supposed to be, but I have this one in this. This is a creamy lipstick in the shade 104 Emotion. My favorite. Like, I have loved this lipstick for years just the perfect nude lippy and it's got like this really nice case to it and then i have a f two of these these are the smart fusion lipsticks i have the shade 405 and 433 so this is 405 it's a little bit more of a pinky very similar to that one just a little bit lighter and then I have 433, which is more of a cooler toned nude, but absolutely stunning. Love those. Um, I have this NYX In Your Element lipstick. This has been loved for so long. It's in the shade Matte Mauve. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Just perfect for fall and like springtime. Just really pretty, kind of mauve -y color, but liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. It's a really pretty kind of neutral pink tone. And then kind of very similar, I have the lip gloss in the shade Vintage, but this, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little bit of sparkle, like a red glitter to it. Very pretty on the lips. 
I have my two Fenty gloss bombs. I have the, the original universal one, and then I also have Fussy. Um, beautiful formula. Absolutely love these. I have a NARS lipstick. Um, I got this in one of the Sephora favorites kits. This is the Afterglow Lip Balm, lip balm in the shade Orgasm. Just a really pretty kind of everyday lip balm. I just throw this on sometimes when I know I'm going to be wearing a mask and I want something a little bit more hydrating. I have the Becca the Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Tawny. Really pretty, kind of more cool toned. I guess that's warmer. Warm, nude, really pretty. I bought a bunch of Becca stuff before they went out of business. Because now they're collector's items. <laughs> I have a Patrick Tall lip gloss. It came with the same kit that the NARS lipstick did. I really like this. Um, it's in the shade She's Expensive. It's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of champagne-y lip topper. Really nice. I have a mini of the Hourglass. Are they called girl lipsticks? In the shade Influencer really like you can see a theme these are the types of tones that i go for the most i have a bunch of the ColourPop. well one of these is not right or did i not these are all glossy lip stains i could have sworn i had another one of these oh well I have four of the ColourPop Glossy Lip Stains. I adore these. I have the shade Berry Ripe, and I got like fun colors since it is a lip stain. It's not as intense, like this will dry down and stay forever. So I have Berry Ripe, there, Cherry Up, They're just such thin formulas, and I really like that when it comes to color. I'm not a big, like, intense lip color type of girl. I like more muted tones. Um, Tutti Fruity, which is this gorgeous, oh, just when that, like, dries down and stains your lips, it's absolutely stunning. And then Big Apple, which is more of, like, a true red, bluish red color so gorgeous and they last forever because they are lip stain so once this like gloss kind of goes away your lips are still like kissed by color that's not gonna come off i have two of the ColourPop just a tint lipsticks i adore these i have the shade give me s'more this is like my favorite like i have used and abused this just so pretty everyday lightweight lipsticks if you don't want intense color these are them and then I have the shade of go go another favorite of mine like I said I like really more muted bright colors like that is the perfect red for me because it's not too intense but it still gives you color uh -huh. I have two of the Too Faced melted matte liquid lipsticks. I have this one in the shade Candy Cane. It was limited edition a few years ago. It smells like ugh, peppermint mocha. So nice. Um, and then I have this one in the shade Granny Panties, which is like a gray purple. So unique. So cool. Love. I have an e.l.f. lip gloss. This is just their lip lacquer. Just a clear, really thick, like you can see, really thick juicy gloss it's only like two bucks incredible I have, oh my goodness oh my goodness i have three of the wet and wild liquid cat suits i have this one in the high shine formula this is in the shade send nudes really pretty nude i used to wear this all the time and now i just don't why because like look at that that is like the perfect nude um, and then I have these two in the matte formula. I have Flame of the Game. This is like when I want an intense, intense lip color. I'll wear this. It's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous orangey, bright red color. Beautiful in the summer. 
and then this one in the shade Rebel Rose. This is a really pretty, it looks really purple in the tube, but on your lips, it's just like a really gorgeous kind of nude shade. And these, the matte ones last forever. And I really like that. Get that off before it lasts forever on my hand. Then I have this Revlon lipstick in the shade Cherries in the Snow. I have never actually worn this on my lips because like that's not really my kind of color but I bought it because my beauty class was talking about it. It's a cold classic. Oh, I still have these two. I have a Tarte Maracuja lip oil. I had such a love affair for these because they're just like gloss. Oh, I didn't keep it up enough. It's literally like a solid oil. The hint of tint. It's just a beautiful everyday lipstick. This one's in the shade Rose. So pretty. And then I have this NYX plush lipstick, kind of a similar thing. Um, it just like melts the minute it touches your skin. This is in the shade Nude Beach. I don't know if they make these still. I really like these. And then I have the Rare Beauty lipstick in the shade Matte Lip Cream in the shade Courage. So gorgeous. Just again, like a grayish mauve tone, really pretty. And it's like a whipped formula. I love this like soft matte packaging. I am holding my iPad up right now. <laughs> so that was it. That is my entire makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had fun just sitting and chatting with me. Um, yeah.